Well, hi, everybody. This is Tim Boss with FinancialCyclesWeekly.com, and we want to talk for a moment about Brett Kavanaugh and the power of Venus. Uh, you know, we had uh, some interesting news uh, yesterday uh, as we're recording this. This is uh, Saturday, uh, September 29th, 2018. Yesterday, on Friday the 28th of September, after a very, very tumultuous hearing on Thursday before the U.S. Senate's uh, Judiciary Committee, the Federal Bureau of Investigation was ordered by President Trump to re- reopen its background check investigation uh, into the allegations surrounding the Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, who had been accused of uh, sexual uh, assault. The FBI was given one week to complete its investigative inquiry, that is to say, until next Friday, the 5th of October in 2018. Now, uh, politics aside, this is a very, very interesting uh, configuration here, because that that particular date, October 5th, is very, very significant in astrology, and it's also significant for Judge Brett Kavanaugh as well. So let's take a quick look at that. Uh, what we have coming up here is Venus going into retrograde motion. It will begin its retrograde cycle exactly on the 5th of October, 2018, at uh, 10 degrees, 50 minutes of Scorpio. After that, it's going to back up, uh, moving back into Libra on October 31st. It will make its direct station on November 16th at 25 degrees of Libra, across uh, back into Scorpio the 2nd of December. And it won't be until uh, December 17th that we'll, uh, Venus will come to its retrograde return, get back to the point where it started its backward motion uh, on the 5th of October. So all of these key points in the Venus cycle can have a big impact on uh, geopolitical matters, on the, uh, the future of nations, on the markets, the equities markets, the uh, futures markets, and on individuals as well. Uh, and all of this is especially true of that retrograde station that comes up here on the 5th of October. Now we can discover some of the potential individual effects by comparing the horoscope uh, for the Venus retrograde station with the natal chart, that is the birth chart, of the person in question. And the person in question here, of course, is a Brett Kavanaugh who has been accused of sexual assault and this is potentially jeopardizing uh, his uh, nomination to a seat on the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court. So what we have here is a dual uh, horoscope wheel. The inner wheel is the birth chart for Brett Kavanaugh. We don't have his exact time of day, but he was born on February the 12th in 1965 in Washington, D.C. We've set that chart up on the middle, uh, and then around that we have the positions of the Venus retrograde uh, station, which comes on the 5th of October, uh, about about four minutes after 3 p.m. Eastern Time uh, that day. Now we're less concerned with the exact time of day as we are with the impact of that Venus retrograde station. Now here uh, in the chart we can pinpoint the position of Venus by transit as it turns retrograde uh, at that particular time on the 5th of October. Now what's going on here as we compare this uh, to the uh, natal horoscope for Brett Kavanaugh is that we see Venus is in a very nice square, a 90 degree angle, to the natal Venus uh, in uh, Brett Kavanaugh's uh, uh, personal horoscope. Uh, now, what that does is create a lot of stress, a lot of tension, obviously, around issues relating to females and sexual activity in general, but that's not all that's going on here. Uh, the Venus retrograde station on October 5th also forms an opposition to the trans-Neptunian factor Hades in the horoscope uh, for Brett Kavanaugh. Now, Hades is a trans-Neptunian factor, as the name implies. It's not about particularly nice stuff, and what's going on here is that we find uh, that Hades alignment with the uh, natal Venus, that forms a square as well, so transiting Venus at the time of the retrograde station on the 5th of October, the date the FBI is supposed to conclude its investigation and report that out, uh, forms a T-square pattern uh, with uh, Brett Kavanaugh. And of course, uh, this combination of Venus and Hades is, uh, according to the textbook definitions, all about low purchasable love, uh, adversaries in love, hidden love affairs, being dirty-minded, repulsiveness in love, handmaidens, love worries, uh, putting women in subordinate places. Uh, and and uh, this is an old text and an old translation. Uh, so we can substitute sex here for love. Uh, and in fact, it is uh, that impulse that's being expressed very, very strongly. And this is coming to light 
all of the uh, the most uh, uh, heinous of uh, uh, notions about Brett Kavanaugh's sex life and his uh, abuse of women or not <laughs> comes to uh, light exactly on this date. So we find this particularly interesting. We did an in-depth investigation of this uh, in a full-length webinar. We do have the recording of that available. We called it Venus Reversed, Sex, Love, Money, and the Markets, How to Survive the Coming Venus Retrograde. You can find a copy of that uh, at uh, bit.ly slash ven925. That's all lowercase, B-I-T dot L-Y slash V-E-N 925. Uh, go there to get your copy of our complete 90-minute uh, uh, webinar on uh, Brett Kavanaugh, the impact of the Venus retrograde station, not only on him, but on the markets and geopolitical affairs as well. So this is Tim Boss with FinancialCyclesWeekly.com. Thanks for watching, and pay attention here as we get close to the 5th of October with what happens as Brett Kavanaugh confronts the power of Venus.